Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a Master Lock DG and I'm at Rainbow Falls. Usually it is nice and rainbowy here when it's bright out, but you can see the sun's just not quite out at the moment. We got a little bit of an overcast. Still warm as hell day and humid as hell as well. Since I lost that tinch wrench, I'll grab this other longer one that was right there. Let's go ahead and have a go at this. All right, got some movement on the back. Okay, it's not going anywhere, let's leave that alone. Two. This pick is a little too, too long for us. There we go. One. Like five in the back? A little bit on five in the back there. Four. On two. One. It feels really high up there, but I don't think it's meant to be there. So we're gonna, here we go, let some tension off. I feel back through. There we go, click on two. One still just seems really low, we're gonna leave it. There we go, click on four in the back. Click on five and there's our open. There we go. So that is our Master Lock DG. I don't have a key for it. It does feel like it has some extreme bidding in it though. Anyways, right behind us is Rainbow Falls. Really gorgeous little spot here. Let me get up here to see if I can show you around. There we go. You can see some people up this way. A nice little view up that way as well. Yeah, here we are. This is in Hawaii. You can see some nice, gorgeous, the plants here are just fucking gorgeous. There's so many flowers here, different flowers. Well, anyways, that was a Master Lock DG. And this is Rainbow Falls. Is where we have our pins and as you can see it's actually a little barrel pin a really thin lipped barrel pin so i'm not sure if different models have um or different places where it's manufactured different years have more than one or not because i have two here this one's definitely newer than this one and you can definitely clearly see that but um yeah this one has a really thin lipped barrel pin on it which I thought was pretty cool for a master lock uh, especially uh, all the rest of the pins are standard there um, the the body the core um, itself is another dual sided crimp core so again the best way to do that is take a pair of pliers squeeze on both sides to make it flex and make these pop out a little bit and then push it through so that's our uh, core uh, same type of um, body that we've been seeing same exact type with um, the master number ones and the threes and same exact type of plug right here and except for this is five pins five pins for a master lock so let's take a look at our lock exploded here we have our bottom of the lock right there you can see where i ground everything off here is most of the bottom of the body it's just a single stack here all the same about that depth all the same exact shape i got a couple more right here all the same shape and then we get to this part right here. And so 
this part, when you take it off, I'll take all the the bolts out real quick. I don't really need those right now. So when we try to take this part off, it does not. There we go. Does not come off the end here. So the way you have to do this is take them and slowly all go around that way, except for this one. This one, uh, it looks like they may have crimped it at the top there. There's, it seems to be little bend marks there, so it may have been crimped in some way to hold this in place. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get the rest of them off. You have to take them off of the shackle, uh, the opposite direction of this piece right here. And so to get the actuator in, uh, here's the actuator. There's nothing much to it. So you can see where the tailpiece will fit right on the top here, the half moon, and the sides right here for our ball bearings. Plain and simple. It cannot go straight in right here because that hole right there is too small. So what you have to do is go under that. Then we place our ball bearings. Uh, actually, I don't want to waste time doing that because I'll have to balance it. But if our ball bearings are in there, then you place that in right there and swing these back over top and that's how that fits in right there and so yeah just like that so that would fit right in there like that and you can see where our our core or our body would also fit right there and that's where the rest of these pieces come into play right here and here are the original pins too, so if you're curious what the pins look like when they're taken out, here is um, a lot of them that I took out of the body of the padlock here. These ones were pretty smooth. This was a really new lock, so it wasn't really seized up in the pins at all. They just kind of fell apart, which was really, really nice. Anyways, this was a Master Lock DG. Uh, gutted, and yeah, that is... Um, a barrel pin, little thin-lipped barrel pin inside there. Alright everyone, hope this helped, and thanks for watching.